Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. So, sorry for the noisy background, but we are outside because we're actually going for a walk. Me and Alicia J, as you can see. Um, guys, you say you want to see more of her, so I've dragged her out with me to, to go walkies today. So, I'm trying to get my steps in, but also there's this local market that I wanted to like visit. Like a, is it a farmer's market? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a farmer's market and I wanted to visit it. So that's where we're going to go off to today and then spend the day with us and see what else we get up to or spend the day with me. I don't know where this is going to be. She often disappears and leaves me alone sometimes. I don't even know, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. So let's go for a walk, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Let's do all this. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Position would you like me in? That's a great position there you are now. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, here you can see all the lovely produce. They've got all jams. You've got proper pork crackling. <clears throat> now guys, you know I'm here for the chicken. They've got the fresh chicken. You've got duck. Chicken thighs, chicken breasts, chicken breasts you know, on bone in. And you've got your duck breasts. So you've got your pork steaks, pork chops, outdoor and orchard pork, fresh farm chicken straight from the farm. Homemade beef burger straight with the beef from our own farm. Lovely. Then you've got all the outdoor beer, the orchard pork. You've got to your pies, steak, tiny chicken mushroom, home cured bacon, all the sausage. You've got everything. You're fully loaded, yeah? They've even got the fresh sourdough bread. Nice. <gasps> so much things. Yes. Chicken stock, lamb stock, fish stock, all in a can. Fresh cheese, everything you can think of. So, guys, I am now trying the olive, as you can see. And it's Oliver Telbar. And you've got all different types of olives here. I've never seen so much olives. So guys, we've just tried the best hummus ever. I didn't even know this um, sold fresh hummus and like fresh olives. And, well, I know they sell them guys, but like... <laughs> you didn't know that they sold them here. I didn't know they sold in them this here. Yeah. At this market. And she had so many on the table. Guys, you saw it anyway. But um, I'm definitely going to come back and get some of the freshness. Really, really nice. So let's walk around and see what else we can see. So guys, we've sat down in the park. Um, rest our weary little legs because we've done our steps. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. And uh, Alicia decides to vlog for her channel. So guys, if you're interested to see what she's been going on about go across to alicia j and see what she's been talking about i've been sitting there resting my chops while she's been talking yeah i would like to say you were like a contributor i to... participated yeah you participated too we were discussing various topics so we're discussing yeah. valentine's so yeah yes if that's your bag go across to her channel <laughs> and check it out guys but um yeah today is a bit of a rainy day it's a bit of a wet one I don't know whether we're covering the going with the weather. I don't know if it's, I mean, I've, we saw our first blossom tree today and we love blossom trees. I used to call them pink trees when I was younger. I don't know what, what the hell they were called. Aww. I used to call them pink trees. I like the pink trees. You know what I switch over hand and swallow. Hold up, hold up. Oh, 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 oh. My bag now, my rucksack is on my back now. See, I, uh, I don't even know. That's what, sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Lean in. Lean, Lean in. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah we're kind of getting wet in the park but you know what i don't mind because not often i actually come and really sit down i must really i keep saying i'm going to do it all the time and when i do come up here i can't leave because it's so nice and just relaxing and just um seeing the children run around going about their business just enjoying life and carefree it's so nice to see children just carefree and um just playing and enjoying themselves, do you know what I mean? The simple things, mm. the simple things. So, yeah, so that's kind of it really. Cause I'm not gonna stay in the rain too long guys. Cause I've got to go to Sainsbury's. I'm gonna pick up a few bits. Um, and also I'm going to see what I can find for myself for Valentine's. Yes. <laughs> we'll see what they have in there. So um, they have, box mm. of chocolate, maybe a bottle of wine or something. Mm. I'm not really a red, a red wine drinker. 
Um, no, just a nice bottle of something though, but not necessarily. I'm a bit of rose might be nice. Yeah. Is it Le Flemish? I never can say the name. I'm the worst person to ask, you know. Because... You know because oh, oh, guys, I know, I know you guys. I know what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna write that. No, it's it's Le Flem whatever. I know you're gonna write it down, but I know, I know. Yeah, because you know I'm not the one to ask. I have Bailey's at Christmas, and that's literally it. That's me all year. <laughs> I don't drink otherwise. Easily, please, guys. Bailey's, ladies. Easily, please. Bailey's at Christmas. That's it. Bailey's and done. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to get out of the rain now. Let's oh, get yeah. back to the car. It's, it's getting it's, heavier now. It's, let's, start to, let's start to walk. So guys, I've just finished that Sainsbury's. As you can see, I look frazzled. It was busy in there, so, so busy. But I've got my bits and pieces, but I just thought I'd show you this beautiful sunset in the background. Look at it. It's so nice. It's so, so nice. But it's getting brighter though, um, because it's about five o'clock now. But look, look at the beautiful sunset. And it's actually a rainbow, but I don't think I can capture the rainbow, but the sunset's nice enough, so um, yeah, time to head home now. Hey guys, so it's the next day that I'm catching up with you. Um, you alright, the ticks? She always has to go. <laughs> Do you know what? She was lying here quite peacefully when I sat down, and now, the minute I start talking, it's roly poly. You know, twist, twisting on command, are you? Okay, that's really nice of you. So, as I said, guys, I just thought I would sort of catch up with you today because I didn't get to catch up with you last night. As you know, after I left Sainsbury and we saw the whole beautiful sunset, by the time we drove home, it was raining, it was wet, it was windy-ish. And, uh, yeah, I just sort of settled in for the night, made something to eat, had a lovely peri-peri chicken with salad, like a Mediterranean salad. So I made that last night and I literally just crashed out and watched a movie. Like I really enjoyed this movie that I watched last night. So that was my my evening. And um, today I thought I'd catch up with you guys. And um, yeah, I would show you my delivery that I got when I came home yesterday. I was so excited and I thought, okay, I'm going to show that you guys what I got in a delivery. But as I've only just sat down and Tigger is doing her roly poly already, I haven't even lit my candle. I'm not going to light a very big candle because I'm not going to be in, in here all afternoon i'm probably going to be in there for a good couple of hours pot around do a few things but let me light my candle oh oh oh, oh guys do you see how dangerous this now if i lit that and it dropped it that happened to me once before you know guys a couple of years ago when i first started doing youtube i lit a candle darn thing the the, the darn thing was a light in my lap i don't know if you if, if you've been with me a little while you may have, may remember that but I put the match. Oh, sorry, Tiggs. I'm so I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're right now. Yeah, take a seat. You're right. You're right. She doesn't smoke, you see, guys. So um. <laughs> so yeah, I've got this candle, guys. I love this one because it matches. It matches my flowers. Take a seat, Tiggs. Take a seat. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. So guys, I must say to you, I know majority of you know, but some of you still think she's a boy. She's a girl. Yeah, she's a girl cat. Yeah, she's, we just call her Tiggs because she looked like Tigger when we first got her. She looked like that, you know, Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. That's, that's where she got her name from. Yeah, anyway, going back to this candle. This is one of my favourites at the moment. I just like the colour because it matches with my, 
um flowers and kind of like that kind of green fresh kind of um tone that i'm trying to sort of set do you know what i mean and all of a sudden I'm, I'm loving green i don't know why i'm loving green all of a sudden i i was never a fan of green years ago but now i'm really keen anyway this is a eucalyptus but it doesn't smell like the kind of eucalyptus well in my mind i'm when i think of eucalyptus i think of when you've got a cold and you're <laughs> yeah that kind of but it's not that kind of eucalyptus guys it smells very fresh so um yeah not the kind of vixie eucalyptus the kind of really nice fresh smell so that's my candle love this one bought it from Primark last year and um yeah I like that one I like that a lot it does much my flowers and it gives that kind of I like the, the vibes it gives do you know what I mean but guys I must say one thing that's bugging me at the moment I put my matches away the one thing that is bugging the heck out of me at the moment is my flowers and I'm thinking to myself God, you, you know what I've got my Primark flowers why am I not updating them so Whilst I'm here, as it's bugging me, guys, I'm going to update my flowers. So this is it, basically, the bunch that you see behind me. It's got some pine cones in there. It's got some... This, these, these flowers are so old, these ones. I don't even know what half of them are, but I did stick some newer ones in there, which are like these greeny ones. And these are more like a Christmas kind of um, pine. I think these ones can come out. So those were kind of like the filler ones that I put at the back. But as you can see, they've got a bit of a sparkle in it. So to me, it's got a kind of a, a iced kind of look to it. So I could take that out because we're moving away from the iced look now, aren't we? And I think I'll fill it with... I just take the whole thing out. And I'll take these ones out. So these are all going to go because it's got the kind of a glistening for icicles. I wonder if I should leave the pine cones in there. These are the pine cones at the back. I think I'll leave them in there. It gives it that kind of a woodland kind of yeah i might leave those in there but what i do want to add in do you remember i bought this these ones from pre-mark so i might put this in the back as kind of a bit of a filler or maybe to the side i'm not sure i might put it yeah i might kind of yeah have it somewhere like that in the middle as a bit of a filler put that to the side and i like this kind of wispy tail hanging down so i might leave that uh should i put these ones in at the sides as like a bit of a add some light to it yeah those yeah that's nice and i think i've got these two tall ones as well and i might actually add these in as well let's see where these could probably go up the side actually like that and what i've done guys i've actually bent them down because i want them to sort of be the same similar height to the other flowers that are in there now if i kind of put this one kind of this will go nicely quite here i think this looks like it could do with like oh actually trying to get it in is a problem but um yeah let's have another try hold on because it's quite a full jar now let's just put that like there yeah i like that see a bit more of that how does that does that what that looks quite nice guys doesn't it i'd like to see a bit more of this though if I can get that out a little bit more and kind of spread it a little bit. Yeah. How's that? Do we like that, guys? That's nice, don't you think? I might have to... This one looks a bit heavy over here. I might have to fix it another time. But if I put that down now, let's see how it actually looks. I think, yep, that's it, I think. How's that? Well, that's much fuller, isn't it? Just make sure it's not near my candle. Do we like that, guys? Yeah. I'm going to have to fix it a bit more. It doesn't, so it doesn't look so stemmy. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have to work it out. But that lifts it, don't you think? Gives it a bit of a lift. So yeah, that's my flowers. So anyway, as I said, I had a um, home bargains haul because I did a home bargains haul couple of weeks ago was a couple of, about about a week ago i did a home bargains haul yeah about a week ago and there was something i was particularly after and i didn't see it in store went back in store it was still wasn't there so i went online and i found what i was after so let me show it to you um now i was after this let's all get it out it's all kind of in the box when i came in so let's get it out properly and i'll show it to you 
Now, I was after this Easter Wishes. Remember I told you they got an Easter Wishes range? Well, they actually got the candle and a few other bits in that range. And I was after this one. Look at the little bunny on the front. And this is a purple kind of lilac um, kind of colour. This is so, so nice. It just looks really nice. I don't really like purple candles or lilac candles. Just because the colour scheme's a bit weird to me. But this one is actually really nice. And it smells really nice. It's really sweet. It's got a very sweet kind of, um, like, um, you know them sweets you used to get back in, like, them pastel sweets, you'd get them in pinks. They were like sweetheart, they were called. Them sweetheart, like, they were fizzy chews. That reminds me of that. Hold on, guys, I'm forgetting the candle here, the camera. Yeah. They were like um, your kind of sweetheart chews. That's what it smells like. Really nice. I like that. Now that came in at about, I think it was about $2.99 or $3.99. Now the reason why I can't remember the price because guys, I got, oh dear, I got these online. Yeah, these are online guys because I, but like I said, I went in the store twice, couldn't find them and I ended up getting this online. So as I keep telling you guys, many things now is online. If you haven't got home bargains near you, you can get this online. And that was about $2.99 or $3.99 for that. And that's part of their Easter wishes range. Also within that range, you got this one you got the diffuser and um i haven't opened that because obviously it's just come but i'm um, just i just thought i hope it smells nice i had no idea what it smells like but it says sweet blossom scented diffuser so sweet blossom so that's probably there it's actually let me see what it says on the candle if it says sweet blossom yeah yeah hello <laughs> sweet blossom so that is the scent i'm thinking like them them sweets see i was i was close guys so it's sweet blossom and that's the diffuser that matches it as well. Now that came in at about around the same price, roughly. I could be a pound or so out, but it's either about one ninety nine or two ninety nine for this diffuser. But it's part of the Easter Wishes range, so I was so so happy and I got that. Now this little creature, her name is Sadie. <laughs> now Sadie, let's put it on this side so you can see it better. Now Sadie, I saw her in store. So you can get it in store. Well, I could get it in my store pretty easily. Um, Sadie came in at three ninety nine. I saw her. I liked her. I looked at her and I walked away. And then when I was online, I kept looking at her. I kept looking at her. I thought, do you know what? I, I do like her. She is so cute. It's that kind of like wicker kind of material. And it's really, really, she's so cute. This is, this will come out year after year after year. It's very, very light. It's not heavy. And yeah, I do like that a lot. So if you've got that kind of neutral decor, then it will fit in so nicely. I mean, she'll probably sit somewhere up there. Once I take down my kind of candle house, I think that probably will, I'll sit her up somewhere up there. Because you know, I normally like my animals behind me, but I haven't got at my woodland animals yet. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be. But I might put Sadie up there. Yeah. So liking Sadie, Tigger likes her too. Tigger was smelling her all over the place. It was proper sniffing her ears. I don't know what he's trying to... But apparently that's how, that's how cats tell things about each other. They sniff each other's bits. So he's probably trying to find out, Sadie, who are you? Where are you come from? What are you doing here? What, 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 what's your intentions? There's no more rooms for any more animals in this house. That's probably what she's saying. I don't, I don't know. Guys, you, you know, you don't know what they're asking each other. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, 3 99 Oh, I'm knocking everything over here. 3 99 for that. And a couple more houseware items I picked up. Guys, you know, I'm going a bit crazy at the moment with my Teddy fitted sheets. Now, I do like the Teddy Fitted Sheets and I've got my bed sets to match. But because I've got some um, sort of taupe duvet bedding, um, I haven't got any taupe fitted sheets. So I thought I'd get one of these. And the reason why I think I, I was more drawn to it is the price. Because let me tell you something. I've got um, a different um, cream Teddy Sheet and I paid a lot of money because cream teddy sheets are hard to find on a high street so i had to go online and get it in the end and it's twice the price online but when i saw this one from home bargains for 10 pounds and it's also king size guys i was well chuffed king size taupe fitted teddy sheet fitted yeah teddy fitted sheet teddy fitted sheet now what I like about it is because I've noticed that for most king size things, it's quite a price. And my bed is not king size. However, all my, because I used to have a king size bed and I downsized. Um, so I've got like a in between king size and double. So bigger than a double, but not quite a king. So it's very hard to find the sheets in between. So I still buy king because my quilt cover is still king. All my 
bedding is still king. But also what I noticed that because my ma mattress is quite thick, I need deep fitted sheets. Now guys, a little tip for you. If you've got a thick mattress or a deep, deep mattress, get one size up of your fitted sheet and that way it will fit your bed snugly. No rolling off. You roll over, one side comes off. You roll over, the other... Who's got time for that? I don't go to bed to play roly-poly. I go to bed to lay straight. Hello. So, get a sleep. <laughs> get a fitted sheet slightly bigger than your bed. And it will fit the four corners. Especially if you've got the deep pocket-like kind of mattress. But anyway, enough of that. So, yeah. £10, home bargains. Fitted teddy sheet. Um... And I can, t I, what I like about this video, they're not thick. So if you think they're the kind of thick, because like years ago, these sheets were so thick, they were kind of overwhelming. It was too hot. It was stuffy. These are quite thin. Although I must admit, some nights I am sort of rolling the duvet off because you've got the teddy underneath, the teddy on top. But I don't mind. I like a bit of heat, guys. I, I was made for it. I was, I was made for heat. Let me tell you. Anyway, moving on. Last but not least, I picked this up because... The other day, the girls and I, we bought some um, like vegetables and stuff. And I realised that I just haven't got enough. Because I'm now um, juicing sometimes and I'm doing a lot of smoothies in the mornings, I just haven't got enough space for my fresh fruit and vegetables. So, um, yeah, we've got one of these. Vegetable racks. You can put, like, onions in it, especially when I'm making a lot of salad. I like to have things quite close to me. So I can just pick this up and transport it near me when I'm doing my chopping and stuff like that. And you can have your potatoes in there. You can have your onions. Because I tend to buy like red onions and white onions. All, all kind of onions. Spring onions. We call it scallions in the Caribbean. So yeah, I tend to put those in in here. And you can put whatever you want in there. But I do like it. Or you can put your spices in there if you wanted to. This is the Tom Kitchen range. And it's a two-tier storage basket. And as you can see on the sticker there, like what they've kind of done with it. Can you see? Yeah, they've used it as like a bit of storage. So they've got their apples and all sorts. You can put whatever you want in there. This came in at, I think, $7.99 for this one. $7.99 for that one. So yeah, that's my quick, 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 quick home bargains online haul that I picked up. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiggs. Yeah, you're, you're more than welcome too. So yeah, that's my very, very quick haul that I picked up. Um, as I said, it's a very quick haul online. Um, me, just because I was searching for the easter wishes range so um i'm i'm looking forward to lighting those candles i've got i think this is probably my second and my second and second or third easter candle i've bought um but i don't mind buying them because they're not they're not at all high high end prices they're very affordable guys now so i don't mind buying two or three candles but if you're talking about like a 12 pound 30 pound candle yeah we're, we're kind of cutting back on those sort of prices this year those prices are not really mm -mm, that's not my that's not my bag anymore if it's a 2.99 candle and it's affordable then yeah i'll buy the candle and i'll burn it but um I need to burn through my range that I've got. So anyway, guys, I am going to leave you there because I think you've had enough of me by now. And don't forget to click and subscribe, put on your notifications, guys. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, guys. We're not far away. I must say, you guys, you've been behind me 100%. I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you. So, uh, yeah, I thank you so much. And please continue because, guys, we want to grow the family and share. Share all our good news with everybody. Yeah, share the bargain, share the tips, share whatever we can share. That's what we're here for, isn't it? To sort of share and give each other tips and ideas and stuff. And, guys, I love the fact that you guys all read through the comments support each other interact i love it i love it we are we are family i got my tigger and me anyway i'm gonna go guys so i will see you on the next video take care see you soon bye you say bye tigs okay that's her whatever that was but see you later